What's going on guys, Benzo69 here. Obviously you guys can tell I changed my uh, my YouTube name a little bit. I, I really didn't like the first one, um, so I had an opportunity to change it on YouTube. Um, so yeah, uh, today I got a review for you guys. Black Ops 1911 Pistol. Um, and also during the video, I'll be keeping a count of how many times I say um or uh. You know, me and my friend were, uh, He's not here, <laughs> but uh, me and my friend we uh, we were rewatching the video before I edited it, and he noticed that I said um and uh a lot. Uh, I keep fucking doing it too. This pisses me off. But yeah, I'm gonna keep count of that, and uh, hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Alright guys, so right here, I got the Black Ops Full Scale 1911 Replica Pistol Airsoft uh, CO2 Gas Blowback Pistol uh, Full Metal, except for four parts which I will get to in the uh, review of the uh, gun and also the disassembly. So uh, let's start from the nose of the gun here. You get First, obviously, as you can see, you get your uh, orange uh, plastic safety tip or orange tip or whatever I don't know what you guys call this I normally just take it off but yeah you got your upper and low receiver your upper receiver is full metal um, your lower receiver is full metal like I said it's full metal it's a gun um, you get your plastic grips here uh, which you can obviously change out and uh, you know get you know uh, wood grips or whatever I don't know um, on the slide you get your uh, fixed iron sights here um, let's see yeah we'll go on the back of the gun oh you get your trigger obviously you get your uh, single action trigger um, your uh, your trigger guard um, you got your um, magazine release right here and on the magazine you got your full metal magazine you got the housing for the co2 you got your co2 release here uh, you got double stacked bb's right here um, you know you got the screw to unscrew and screw on the uh, co2 tank we're gonna set this aside uh, we'll just put it back in the gun actually um, you got your uh, slide catch and release right here um, it's a blowback gun, I think I said that already. Um, uh, let's see. You got your hammer, like I said, a single action hammer. You got your hammer. Um, you got your, uh, your, uh, safety right here. Up is safe. You can't push the slide back. This safety is pretty much garbage, though, because, uh, if you have the hammer cocked back, um, and you pull the trigger, it still fires. The only thing that's preventing you from doing it is putting the slide back. But yeah, other other than that, it's pretty much garbage. Um, let's see, you got the uh, the uh, what do you call it? The foregrip, or not the foregrip? The pistol grip safety, which is it's freaking nice actually. I like it a lot. Um, and on a real 1911, because this is a they said it's a full replica of a 1911. There's actually four safeties on a real 1911. Uh, first, there is the lever safety, the uh, pistol grip safety. They have what they call as a half cock safety, and then they have the uh, drop safety, no safety. It's basically another version of the half cock safety. Basically, when uh, when you drop it and it hits the nose of the barrel, it prevents it from having a discharge in the gun. So it basically, just puts it straight into a half cock, which looks like this on a real 1911. This one doesn't do it though. So yeah, there's that, um, and you can see they have the Black Ops engraving here, really nice engraving, um, you know, the warning shit, you got a couple little serial numbers right here, I don't know if you guys can see it, um, and then on the very bottom here on the lower receiver it says uh, 6, or caliber 6 millimeter. on a real 1911 obviously it would say 45 ACP, and uh, if you guys don't know what ACP stands for, it stands for Automatic Colt Pistol, uh, which is weird though because the first I guess uh, scale of a 1911 was made by Browning 
So I don't know why it would be a cult and a brownie. So yeah, enough rattling on with that. Uh, that's basically it. So we're going to get to the disassembly of this weapon. Alright guys, so we're going to disassemble this real quick. First what you're going to want to do is uh, take out your magazine and then check if your weapon's clear. In this case, mine is clear. Set that aside. Um, so first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to push your slide back. I'm going to do it on this angle. You're going to want to push your slide back until that hits that first little notch there. That one right there. And then on the other side, you're going to want to push this pin out. Like... Like that. Push it out. Take this out. This comes out. Set that aside. And then your uh, slide comes apart from your low receiver. Uh, we're gonna set this aside real quick. So we're gonna look at this. Um, basically all that's here is your is your hammer, your hammer slash uh, safety and trigger housing right here. And then you got your uh, your rails so you can attach your upper receiver on there. And that's basically it, there's really nothing else to it. All right, let's go to the upper receiver here. So first what you're going to want to do is uh, how I like to start is from the nose. So I'm going to push this in, this little uh, thing right here. Push it in and then turn that uh, other piece, this piece right here, counterclockwise. Push this in and counterclockwise if it would go. There we go. This comes off. And then you're gonna wanna take your spring guide, push it forward, and pull out. There's your spring guide, look at the spring guide here real quick. There's your uh, recoil spring. And then you got your spring guide, which has a little metal washer, and then a rubber washer, and then you got your spring guide. Um, don't lose any of the washers or anything. Those are really, really important. All right. Next, what you can do is you can pull this out, your uh, spring housing, your recoil spring housing, and then you can push your barrel out of that little cut out there, so it comes straight out. That, um, yeah, we'll, we'll look at this a little bit later. So here we go, here's your barrel, uh, you got your spring, we're gonna take this off real quick. Um, you got your little hop-up unit housing. You can see that little dial right here. I'm trying to get a glare. It's right there. That's plastic. The little dial is plastic, but everything else on here is metal. This uh, little this little thing is metal. Uh, you can see in there that little golden inner barrel, which is metal, and also your outer barrel is metal. So that is the barrel. Let's look at the slide here real quick. So extracted completely in metal. Uh, this is the other part I, I mentioned earlier in the video that is plastic, this thing right here. If you guys know what this is called, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what this is called. I have no idea what it's called, but it's, that's the only thing that's plastic in here. And right under it, that's metal. The little, uh, whatever that thing is called too. So uh, that's basically it on this. So we're going to assemble it real quick. Okay, this, this comes last. I don't know why I picked that up first. I'm going to set that right here. You're gonna want to take your barrel, put that in first. Make sure it locks in place like so. Put your spring in there, your recoil spring. Then you're gonna want to put your your uh, spring guide in here or your spring uh, housing. Put your spring and spring guide back. Like yeah, like that locks in place. And you're gonna want to put your little um, lock none here. You don't want to put it in and then turn it clockwise and it locks in place. Then you want to take your lower and upper receiver, line it up with the rails, and then put it like that. And then at that point, you just push it back a little bit to where, same thing, this meets the little square, and you put this back in, and your gun is ready to go. So, now that we're done with that, honest opinion on this, um, I like this gun, I really do, but if I had to rate it, I would rate it a 4 out of 5. Uh, just for the fact that my magazine ended up breaking 
at about a thousand rounds. Um, it leaks gas and it's 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 all bad. Um, and if you guys know where I can get another one of these magazines, uh, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, that would help me a lot. Um, so yeah, this is the only reason why I would give it a four out of five is just because of the magazine. But if I had to just rate the gun, just the gun alone, I would give it a five out of five. It's a really nice, heavy duty, well constructed gun. Um, it's shooting about 450 FPS, for, uh, 420 FPS, somewhere around there. And uh, effective range is about 150 feet, um, maybe a little bit less. But yeah, really, really nice gun. Uh, you guys should pick one up. I picked one up at Dick Sporting Goods for about 80, 80 bucks, I think. Um, so yeah, that's basically it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, talk to you guys later. Alright guys, so once again, I am so sorry I couldn't uh, keep up with the all the ums and shit like that. I, I just, I already spent four hours trying to uh, edit all that, so sorry guys, I couldn't do it. Um, but yeah, my grand total of ums was, uh, was 97. <laughs> That's a lot in one video. <sighs> so yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'm going to be putting out another video on how to get movie box on your iOS device without a jailbreak. So, yeah, that's going to be the next video. Thank you guys for watching.